Hi. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm late. Uh, what time is it? Well, uh, it's late. Where's my watch? Uh, it's almost 11.30. I had to go to this lawyer, and then after that I went home to change. Mm. What? 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 Uh, what'd you change? Uh, my clothes, uh, my face. Uh, I, I tried to call, but nobody seemed to be answering the phone. Uh, I lost my watch. Oh. What are you reading? I don't know. <sighs> it's Greek. I don't understand Greek. Uh, well, then what? I like the way the letters look. And I try to imagine what it means. Like Chinese, it's very intricate and, uh, and old. Moss, mm. could you look at me? Mm-hmm, sure. Because I need to talk to you about something. Maybe I should get some bagels. No, um, no, no. See, I don't want bagels. I want to talk, and I want you to listen. Okay, uh, sure. Good. Um, well, now, uh, uh, I feel funny about doing this so soon after starting the job, but, um, okay. Would you be mad if I asked for a raise? Oh, a raise? Yes. Uh, I, I mean, if you think I'm doing good work. Oh, I think you're doing wonderful work. I need to make a little more money, if that's possible. You know, if uh, it's in the budget. Oh, God, what budget? There's no budget. Uh, forget it. No, no, wait. Oh, here's some money. Oh, no. And some keys. No. And, oh, God. There's my watch. Oh. Oh, it's 11.30 already. Oh, see, uh, the reason I'm asking this is my family is kind of more broke than I'd like them to be now that my father's estate is bankrupt. And I'd like to be able to help them out if I could. Well, you can have a raise. I can? <laughs> of course. Oh. Well, who takes care of that? I guess I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what should I give me? Uh, uh whatever you think. Okay. <laughs> oh, can I have a raise, too? I have to, uh, get my watch fixed. Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Moss, wait, don't leave yet. Um, mm. I need to talk to you about something else. Um, did something happen between us the other night, or was that just my imagination? It seems to me that you were there. So was I. So maybe we should just acknowledge that it happened, you know, instead of ducking behind the Peloponnesian Wars or whatever hieroglyphs you choose to hide behind all day. Uh, this is getting heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you bet. Um, see, I feel that we're past starting from scratch now, you know, but every day I come in here uh, and you act as if you hardly know me. And we have to go through these same awkward rituals, which are very charming. No, I don't get me wrong, but uh, just exasperating. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. We made love, Moss. I think I have to get some bagels. Oh. Okay, fine. Uh, no, you don't want to talk about it. I understand. Sure. Was... Is there a problem? I, I mean, if you didn't... I mean, if it wasn't... Was it awful? I, it didn't seem awful. But, oh, fine. We never have to mention it again. I saw Ingrid Bergman naked when I was nine years old. <sighs> my, my father's third wife <laughs> was from outside Stockholm. And uh, I, I, I stayed with her that summer when I was nine. She, well, she was friends with Ingrid Bergman. And, uh, well, they'd grown up together and had stayed friends. And uh, well, Ingrid Bergman would visit uh, for a week every summer uh, to get away from people, I guess. Mm. <laughs> there was this big porcelain tub outside the house. And one day, I looked out my window and there was Ingrid Bergman in the tub, uh, taking a bath. And I watched her <laughs> sponge herself off. And gosh, she did it slowly, uh, with, her, with her eyes closed. Uh, she looked like she was humming. And then she, she stood up and she dried herself off with a Turkish towel. And then she spread the towel on the grass and, and she sat down on the towel and she smoothed some lotion over her legs. And then she laid on her back, wide open in the sun, and kind of lazily moved her 
hands over her stomach and her over her hips. And I watched her the whole time, uh, but I didn't feel like I was spying because she looked up at me and smiled. Her teeth were like, they were like ivory, and her eyes they were green and kind. And I thought that moment was the most wondrous moment I'd ever have in my life. And that no matter how long I lived, I'd never see anything so extraordinary again. Well, I was wrong. Oh, my goodness. And now I have to get some bagels. Right. Bagels. <laughs> 